I'm going to take a minute to show you how to add a drop-down box with values that are dependent on the selection of values of another drop-down box. In this example, we're going to use the computer configuration item table just because it's handy. And in this example, let's say we want to create an, a second drop-down box just under our operating system uh, drop-down box. So I'm going to go ahead and personalize my form. And let's, let's for this uh, example, let's just say that uh, we want to know how many blue screens a window computer, Windows computer has had. And let's say that it can track that some magical way. So we're just going to create, um, and, and we'll say there actually, and, and those selections will just be one, two, three. Let's say there's a max of five. I'm totally making this up. But uh, just to, to show the point here, so we're going to make this a choice field, and the, the name of the field will be blue screen. And let's just throw that um, just up here, just above company, and we'll go ahead and save. Okay, and there's our blue screen choice field. It doesn't have any choices. Now we want to tie that blue screen choice field to this operating system. We only want uh, this to show up if the operating system is set to, let's just let's just play with uh, Windows XP in this example. So only if it's Windows XP do we want this to be populated with values. So we're going to go ahead and personalize the dictionary of that field and we'll leave that page that's fine and notice on the dictionary entry for the field that we created there's uh, an option here for dependent this means is this drop down are dependent on a parent uh, field it is yeah I believe it's um, operating system can't remember the name of that I should have checked that beforehand but let's see if we guessed properly so we'll say it's dependent on operating system. Let's jump back to our computer and let's just test that. I guess it's OS is the name. So let's change that again. Let's go to personalized dictionary and instead of operating system, the field value is OS. So we'll update that. Okay. Still nothing, nothing's changed. Let's add some values to this uh, blue screen counter. And let's personalize our choices. Let's say uh, one, two, three, and four. We'll add those. And then let's just say not applicable. So for anything that's not Windows XP, we'll just leave that as not applicable. So we'll go ahead and save those. So now we have this drop down with these options here. And we want to set that so that these options do not show up, these four options, unless operating system is Windows XP. So what we'll do is let's show the choice list. And I'm going to personalize this list and show the dependent value in there as well. There's a dependent value field and since I had Windows XP Professional set up selected when I created those choices that value automatically got set here. So if I were to go I could change that. Let's change that. We can just select these four and choose Windows XP. I can change that. And let's jump back to our computer's record. And with Windows XP Professional selected, nothing's there. If we select Windows XP Home, there's our four variables. And uh, if we do none, there's the not applicable. So that's how you make a, this is a very poor example, <laughs> uh, 
of how you make one drop down uh, dependent on the values of a different drop down uh, field in a form.